So we can make a loudspeaker go louder, it can handle more power, we can reduce distortion. But unless you critically look at how you arrange the drive units and how you design that loudspeaker from the very fundamentals, you're not going to be able to significantly improve the sound stage and imaging element. And that's what Hyphen's really about taking that knowledge of how a speaker interacts with a room and how we hear audio. So in order to get that sound stage and imaging as best as we possibly could, we had to carefully look at how we arrange the drive units. And one of the targets for that is to make sure your off-axis performance is as smooth and consistent as possible, and that all the drive units integrate with each other properly. As well as that, you want the drive units to have a single point source, so all the sound comes from a very centralized point within the loudspeaker. That enables the sound to propagate into the room in a very balanced manner, it means the reflections have a character that's consistent with the on-axis and direct response to the loudspeaker, and the whole thing combines for an experience that, above and beyond what we've previously done, delivering that sound stage and imaging, but also the low distortion that we're known for, the high SPLs that the system's capable of, because it is a high power handling loudspeaker. The visual identity for Hyphen is born from its configuration. We are a performance brand. Everything we do is about acoustic performance. So this speaker had to be the ultimate expression of that. And is often the case with unique designs. The form has followed the function here. Michael had this idea of making what he felt was the perfect point source array loudspeaker and how that could work. And we sat and then we sketched out lots of different ways that could work. So the M array is held in what we call the bridge. It's totally isolated aluminium structure. The structure of this assembly is like a watch. The intricacy of getting the mid-range drivers into a really, really close point source array was one of the best examples I've seen of a really good industrial design team working with an acoustic team. So the idea around a point source loudspeaker is that you start with a single drive unit, the tweeter in this case. The tweeter's uh, an MPD, a micro pleated diaphragm, which is based on an air motion transformer design. Around that, we place six mid-range drivers as close as we can. And the reason we've split the mid-range from one drive unit into six is to just get that compact design to make sure that the energy from the mid-range driver is coming from as close to the tweeter as possible. And that the tweeter is in the middle of the acoustic center of the mid-range driver. It's then important to make sure that the base system comes in at the same point source location as close as possible, and it's never going to be able to be exactly on top. So we've wrapped the base drivers back onto themselves so they face each other. We placed them 70 mil apart, and we pulled them as close to the behind the mid-range drivers as we possibly could without compromising the rest of the design. So what we've got is a loudspeaker where all the drive units are as close as they possibly can be together, creating an idealized point source system. This way of moving bass drivers inward firing with the M array in the center really gave us something unique and it actually gave us a really unique aesthetic as well, something that, that hasn't been done before. So within Hyphen, we've got four bass drivers. The bass drivers are paired into modules and each module is a force cancelled system. So it's two bass drivers facing each other and they're connected together with cast aluminium anchors. Those anchors transfer all the vibrations from one drive unit into the other. And because the vibrations are opposite to each other, they cancel. So each module becomes a force cancelled bass driver assembly that has no physical vibration coming off of it from a motional point of view. So for Hyphen, one of our aims was to get the low frequency output below 20 hertz to make sure it covers the full auditory range to give that scale and dynamic ability that only a full speaker can. And in order to do that, we chose the four eight-inch bass drivers coupled with a ported loudspeaker cabinet. But we didn't want to accept any compromises of a ported system. So in our research and listening, we decided that going for a very low port tuning, 25 hertz in hyphen, gave us a very tight and dynamic, almost a closed box sound but with all the benefits of being able to hit those lowest octaves in a loudspeaker that's not physically imposing. At Monitor Audio, we have this idea of a, a transparent design philosophy, you know, creating something which you hear but don't necessarily see. It's about a purity and a simplicity of design, and Hyphen is the ultimate embodiment of that. In every Hyphen cabinet, we have 11 drive units. You don't necessarily see those, but you really, really do hear and feel them. And I'm really proud of the way the industrial design team have taken that philosophy and it's created this object which isn't overpowering. It is 
you know, a technology statement, but but it's home friendly, which is ultimately what we're about as Monitor Audio. We're a home audio company. As an engineer, what I'm looking at here is that, you know, nothing's ever perfect. That's the reality of it. No loudspeaker is perfect. And I don't want to say hyphen is perfect, but it's showing a trajectory, a place, a destination that we can go to. And so I'm really looking forward to what Monitor Audio can do over the next 10 to 15 years, building off of this foundation of hyphen and seeing where we can take it.